In this video, we'll be discussing helicopter blades and their rotational nature and their rotational inertia, calculating them for a physics question. So, welcome to High Peak Education, and my name is Paul. Thank you for joining me today. And stay tuned till the end of the video because we will be discussing why it is so difficult to calculate that rotational inertia, sometimes called moment of inertia, the tendency of a helicopter blade to keep rotating. Okay, so let's get into today's video problem example. A typical helicopter has four blades, rotates at 310 RPMs, and has a kinetic energy of 3.65 times 10 to the fifth joules. What is the total moment of inertia of the blades? They're not asking for the moment of inertia of any particular blade. Right. They're just sort of asking for the overall blades. Now, by the way, a blade is kind of a funny shape, so that's not something you could easily look up on a table. So we're not asked to find either one blade or like calculate with the blade shape. So that would that's a little bit beyond the scope of what we're doing. They do give us the kinetic energy and they do give us the rate at which the blades rotate. Now let me ask you this first. What kind of kinetic energy did they give us? The RPM is not the correct units. That's exactly right. We'll come back to that in a second. But then when it comes to the kinetic energy, is this linear or is this rotational kinetic energy? So no, no. blades are going kinetic. like this, so it's going to be what? Uh, kinetic 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 kinetic. Yeah, it's going to be rotational. So I think this is, first of all, this is rotational kinetic energy. And then, like you said, the RPMs is not quite the right units we want to work in. What units do we want to change that to? Isn't it radians? Radians yeah. per what, though? Radians per second. Radians per second, exactly. Okay, so by the way, let me just mention to you, the most common units you'll hear out there in the real world for things that rotate are going to be RPMs. Okay, so RPMs is just, you know, pretty ubiquitous. But what I'm also getting at is RPMs is very similar to like MPH for miles per hour. It's sort of an abbreviation, thorough or sort of fundamental unit. And can you tell me what RPMs is an abbreviation for? It's revolutions per minute. Oh, revolutions. Yeah, so revolutions per minute. So um, that's what I just tried to write there. Okay, so revolutions per minute. Now, if we're in revolutions per minute, we want to change that to radians per second. So we need to go through the conversion process, right? Right, right. So we need revolutions downstairs on the conversion factor, and we need what sort of angle measure in the numerator? Yeah. In the numerator. Exactly, two pi radians for every one revolution. Okay. 60, yes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add this equation to the board. Okay, so hopefully you can see that conversion factor up there. Mm -hmm. So what we should do is we should take our 310 revolutions per minute, multiply by two pi, and then divide by 60. So let's do that first, because I think that's an important first step. And we're gonna get a decimal here, unless they wanted the exam answer exactly in terms of pi, but I don't think that's the way to go. I think an approximation is better. Yeah, I got 32.5 if we round it, three significant digits. Yep. Radians per second. Again, what's the equation for rotational kinetic energy? I think we wrote this a moment ago. Right, which is one half inertia times omega squared. Exactly. Okay, so we've got one half i omega squared. And that, and by the way, that is equal to the rotational kinetic energy. Right, so. Half omega. Right, so how do we solve that for i? Yeah, so two times the kinetic energy divided by omega squared. That's, that would be the algebra, right? And my recommendation to you is to do the algebra like you see on the board, you know, 2ke over omega squared equals i before you plug into the calculator for two reasons. Number one, if part b says, what if the kinetic energy was this and the RPMs was this, you don't have to repeat the whole thing. You can just plug in new numbers to the same spot in your calculator. But yeah. also, I would recommend this generally avoids more calculator errors. 
if you solve it on paper first with the algebra and then put in all the numbers. Two times the kinetic energy of 3.65 times 10 to the fifth and we'll divide that by the omega squared and that's 32.5 squared. Okay, so 692.7 and that's kilograms times meters squared. So what about you? Did you learn something about helicopter blades, their moment of inertia, their rotational inertia, and why it's so difficult to calculate these quantities given that the shape is not a standard three-dimensional geometric shape? Let us know in the comments what your greatest takeaway from this video was. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for watching High Peak Education. Please smash that like button if you enjoy this content. Please share this video amongst your social networks to grow the channel. And please subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to never miss another video. Thank you for watching High Peak Education.